What's up guys, it's Sultimate here and today we're going to be creating a soda dispenser. I purchased a 2 feet by 2 feet MDF board which is a sturdy piece of engineered wood made by breaking hardwood or softwood into wood fibers and later compressed. You can use natural wood but this MDF board is a lot cheaper and lighter. Next I cut the board into 7 different pieces, 2 L shaped for the sides and then 5 different rectangles for the top and bottom panel as well as the straw, switch and front panels. The exact dimensions will be in the description below. After cutting out the 7 pieces, I sanded each of the pieces to get a smooth edge. I then took one side, the left side preferably, and I cut out a small notch towards the back end to house the extension cord. Afterwards, I used hot glue to secure the pieces together temporarily. I bought a two toggle switch that came with a skinny washer and an on and off plate. In order to secure the switch onto the MDF switchboard, I used a piece of cardboard and a doorknob strike plate. This isn't the ideal solution, but it seemed to work. I attached the switch to the plate with the washer provided and this allowed for the switch to be properly attached to the MDF. Next, I cut out a 1 inch hole towards the bottom center of the MDF as well as two 1 4th inch holes to attach to the strike plate. The switch was secured with 1 inch by 1 4th inch hex screws tightened by 1 4th inch nuts. Once the nuts were tightened, I took the MDF piece that would house the straw and I drilled a 3 8 inch hole in the dead center, which would fit the straw tightly. I attached this board to the soda dispenser and then ran an old extension cord through the box that would be used as a power source. I stripped one terminal of the cord in the center and exposed the wiring allowing myself to attach each end of one of the terminals to the switch.
I covered the exposed wiring with some electrical tape. Once everything was wired, I used a bead of hot glue to attach the switchboard to the soda dispenser. To make everything sturdy, I went back and I used a 132 inch drill bit to attach the nails. Use as many as you need to. In this case, I used about 20 to 30 nails. Lastly, I sanded down everything to make sure there were no rough edges or surfaces. In the inside of the dispenser, I placed a scrap piece of MDF right above the switch connections to hold the air pump. I then secured the end of the extension cord with hot glue. The cord was wrapped around the corners and edges and of course, secured with hot glue. I put four small beads on the corners of the air pump and attached it to the shelf. The cord for the air pump was simply shortened with a zip tie and then plugged into the extension cord. I purchased a 1 4 inch flex tube and a 3 8 inch flex tube to dispense the soda or any type of liquid. I cut the 1 4 inch black tube to about 6 inches and the 3 8 inch tube to 1.5 feet or 18 inches. I snaked the clear tube through the cutout in the MDF board and left about 1 inch of the tube exposed. I took a bottle cap and I drilled a 3 8 inch and a 1 4 inch hole. I then put the 1 4 inch tube into the corresponding hole and made it flush to the cap, securing it with some hot glue. I went back to the dispenser and snaked the clear tube through the 3 8 inch hole, which I left about 1 foot hanging. Again, it was secured with hot glue onto the cap. Finally, it was time to paint. I decided to stain the dispenser a Sedona red, but because this is MDF, paint would have been a better option. After applying two coats, you can attach any soda label by simply cutting it off or applying it with some glue. Once everything is done, you can attach any soda bottle up to 2 liters big depending on the size of your soda dispenser. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share this video with your friends and if you aren't already, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next Sultanist Sunday.